All right, I've got two new features uh, coming to my prop file. So uh, big thanks to Frederick, actually, in talking to him about these features. He's implemented some changes now that will let uh, individual prop files actually have their own effects set up. Um, so, And those changes, I, I think he said it actually ends up saving memory, too. But uh, he figured that out, um, so now it's going to be possible. Um, so these are going to be coming to my prop file. Um, and for those who want to add them to their prop file, once it's all released and everything, that will be possible. Um, but I've got two new features, two new modes coming. Um, the first is going to be a uh, on-demand power save mode. And basically what it is is you can, and it's all customizable, but you can set so that a button press will actually dim your blade, and you can set how it affects the blade in terms of the percentages it dims as well as um, what it dims. Um, so this first example here and on camera, I'll, uh, hopefully it will get picked up, um, the controls might change. I'm still messing with the, all the controls now for all the features, plus battle mode and everything. Um, but for now, uh, basically, I'm going to have the blade pointing straight up. And when you have it pointing straight up, if you try to go into color change, instead of doing color change, it actually does power save, which is essentially this one's set up with four dim levels. Um, and again, it's all customizable. You can have four levels. You can have ten levels. Um, you can have two levels. You can set it up however you want. But for this one, it's going to go... Uh, the first one will be a 25% dim, so that's this is full color. So that's a 25% dim, which isn't actually a lot, um, but it actually is 25% dimmer if you had it right next to the original color. Um, on camera, because of how everything washes, it's a little harder to see. But now I'll do it again. This one will be 50%. So that's a 50% dim. And then last will be a 75% dim. So, and then because it's in the style now, you can also uh, set how you want it. So say I had accents or crystals, and I only wanted the power save to affect the main blade, you just set it up that way. Also, you can choose to have it affect the base blade, which is your main effect, or all effects. So this version, and I'm going to show several versions, this version actually affects the base blade and the effects. So if I do lockup, the lockup's actually going to be dimmed. Um, because I'm at 75%. And then if I do it again, it'll actually go back to full power. And now if I do that lockup again, you'll see it's much brighter. So, um, with having the, the, uh, the power save built into the styles, it gives you all the control and flexibility to set it up however you want. Um, so then another, the other feature that's coming is going to be an on-demand battery level. So I do have the passive battery monitor. Um, there is the battery styles you can do, um, but this is going to be now in your uh, in the new prop file. You can actually do an on-demand battery level, and you can set the style to be whatever you want. So this first one is going to be percentage of blade plus color. So green being full, red being uh, less, and I've been doing this for a little while, so I'm expecting this battery to be a little lower. So it's about halfway, so it's about, and you can see it's yellow, so it's about the battery, and that's, it's all set up, so you can set up whatever you want. So I have a wipe transition, I have it holding, it can be whatever you want, um, but now on demand you can have a battery uh, style built that just will appear on your blade. Um, so this one was, um, it, the height and the color was related to the battery level, so it was about 50%, and it was yellow, so my battery's about halfway done. Um, so I'll show it again, and you set the transitions up. So it's got a wipe in and a, uh, a wipe and a wipe in transition built into it too. So you could do a lot, I mean, anything you want with it. But And then the, these sounds actually, uh, these effects, so both the power save and the new battery level have their own sound effects too. So this uses battery dot wave, and then the power save uses uh, dim dot wave, and you can actually set the sounds you want as well. Um, but let me, uh, let's go to another preset. So now this version, this version's going to, um, uh, first thing is, in power save mode, this is only going to dim the main blade, but my effects won't change. So my effect on lockup here, and now let me dim down. Oops. Let me fix that. I went in the color changer, I wasn't pointing straight up. I'm still tweaking those controls. To go from here. Um, so now straight up I'll dim it. So that's the 25% dim. But now the lockup is actually going to be the same brightness. So let's get down to 75%. So it's this one has the 25 and then the um, as well as the uh, 50 and 75. So and that's I don't it's really quiet, but there's a sound attached to the dimming. So that's 50%. And that's the 75%. But 
this 75% dim is only applied to the blade, that, lo light, that lockup effect is unaffected. So in addition to being all the levels you want, you can set it, depending on which layer you choose to put it in, to control the main blade or all effects. Um, you can set what blades you want. So it has pretty much endless possibilities. It's all going to be flexible. And then we'll go back to 100%. So, and that one just has, again, the four levels, so 25, 50, 75, and then it goes back to 100%. Um, so, and you can set the order, too, so you can, it's basically all customizable. Um, and then we'll show the, uh, and then this one has a different battery style for the on-demand battery. So this one uses uh, just a segment, and it's going to be, this one's located in the center, and it's, again, I have it set up green to yellow to red so that one was a little yellowish green um, again in its center because the battery is about halfway uh, because I've been doing a lot with it so if it was full it would be at the end if it was really low from this one it would be red and at the bottom um, but again all customizable um, and you can apply it to any of the styles you want any blades any presets it's it's all at the preset level that you control this um, so now here's a this is a different setup for the uh, power save. So this one just has two modes, and this is set up to be, um, for this one, I, I forgot actually, this might be, let's see what this one does. So I'll get straight up. So that one has, yeah, that should be the 50%. So this one has two modes. So it goes 50% and then back to 100. So this is the 100, if I do it, it does 50% which on camera I don't think it shows as much. It's still plenty bright, but it is now 50% dimmer than it was before. Um, so this one's set up that way. And then I think I have the same battery level on this one. Let's see what... This one should be... I believe this one's going to be set up with 10 levels of dim. And a 10% dim uh, doesn't actually show up a lot, but I'm going to walk through it. So this should be... The first one will be a 10% dim. Yeah, so that's 10% dim, 20%, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, now you're starting to get a lot dimmer, 80, and then that's a 90% dim, which is pretty dim. I don't think I'd go that level unless you were in like pitch black, but then back to 100%. Um, so because it's using, uh, this essentially uses effect, se uh, effect sequence, which was a new style that I put together last week, combined with the new features in the prop file that uh, Frederick uh, enabled. Um, you can set however many levels you want. So if you want to have those 10% increments, you can. If you already know that, you know, when it's dark out or when your power is low, you want to just cut it to 50%, that was the previous style, you could do that. You could do basically any levels you want and have it work in sequence using effect sequence to be able to enable. Um, so now you're going to have the on-demand power save, you're going to have the on-demand battery level as part of my prop file, and it, it's all going to be just easy to enable, easy to use, um, and fully customizable. So you can, you know, pick and choose how you want it to work where you want it to work, um, but it's, uh, you know, something I'm pretty uh, excited about. Um, I know it's uh, some features I've heard mentioned before and people have asked about, um, but I, as I was thinking about it, I, I figured, you know what, I, I want to give the most control because I want to have the most control over what happens. So instead of just making it like a blanket uh, dimming of your blade, this allows it to be specific to a style, specific to a section of the blade, or if you just want the effects dimmed, if you just want the base blade dimmed it lets you control every aspect of it and it also lets you set do I want to dim it by 10% with each press do I want to just dim it 50% automatically do I want to dim the 25 50 75 do I have some other combination that I want to do um, it's all basically going to be possible now with this new power save feature um, so I'm still testing it out the controls may change I'm actually doing a lot of work on controls um, because I want to make battle mode much more customizable um, for OS 5 so I'm getting these features in. I'm also obviously working on setting up the defines um, in my prop file so that you can pick and choose what features you want active or, or deactivated. Um, so some of the buttons that are even previously some of the controls for battle mode may be changing. Um, I'm kind of 
as I'm testing, I'm seeing what makes the most sense, what you, what is you know kind of the, the simplest, but also what's the most intuitive. Um, so lots of stuff in the works, um, lots of stuff coming, um, and I'll I'll be making updates um, both on TRA and on my uh, channel and Facebook as I get this stuff ready for more testing. Um, but battle mode went through alpha testing pretty well. Uh, it's not officially out of alpha, um, but for my intent and purposes, it was tested enough that the features are working. Now I'm going to clean up the controls and, and, like I said, give more options for users. Um, so lots of great stuff coming. Uh, I'm really excited, and big thanks to Frederick again for helping me get power saved in there and help me get battery in there, uh, the battery level uh, on demand. Um, so lots of stuff uh, you guys are going to be excited about. So hope you enjoy.